Oh. Morning folks, welcome back in the workshop. So, Saturday morning, bank holiday weekend, sun shining, got work to do on that boat of mine. And my next job is, you can see I've got a fire door blank here, I need to make sliding door, uh, separates engine bay from rest of the boat, front bedroom. That sizes of it, the cutout that is there is 580 wide, 410 at the top, 1640 overall height, 610 goes up plumb, then angles back to 410. So that's the dead sizes. So I'm going to draw it out on this door plank and then we'll increase the width and the depth so it fits behind the pocket so you don't see it then when it goes away. But then when it closes, it, it goes past the opening and uh, we can put a sliding door lock and everything pop a lock with a, a Euro cylinder, non-snap Euro cylinder on, a bit more security, but also it's a 44 mil fire door. So should something go amiss, <laughs> at least if that's closed, it's gonna give a fighting chance uh, stop any fire spreading from engine bay and that. So you've got to come through a steel wall as well. So, But that's just uh, an added, added bit of security really. Anyway, so mark that out on this blank and then we'll cut it all out. It's got to go on rollers. I've got some rollers, these really heavy duty things. They were a good price though. And uh, then I'm going to make sliding door gear for the bottom, which we'll make using round bar and some plate and angle and then I'll have to make something to trap it at the top so anyway we'll one stage at a time first thing is get this cut out get it relipped that can be going off then glue and uh, I can get on making other stuff and then we'll get up to the boat and fit it right well marked out I've increased it 30 mil in its width and uh, 50 mil in its height but actually I'm just going to cut this side out, get that lipped, and then when I make the, the uh, steel work for the rollers and all that, I can cut it to a final height. But I'll get it all, all I'm going to do is two cuts, get it lipped, that's going off then, and I uh, can carry on with steel work and then cut it to a final height once I've done that. Right, so I've run that lipping off, cut it off the old one, and now we're going to relip those edges like that. So it's just a matter of gluing them up, put them in clamp. If you've ever wondered what the internals of these fire doors look like, that's them. So they have holes all the way through. In the middle there, the smaller holes, because you chop your locks in around there usually. So that's how a fire door's uh, made up. That's a 30 minute 44 mil fire door. Right, so we cut off over length, we're going to cut the top off on the job, because I'm not sure the height yet. So now I'm just going to put a, a lip in on there, so the wheels can be attached to that. <laughs> right, we've got a bit of lip in just machine, so all I've got to do is, is attach that to that. So I'll cut it to length and we'll get it on. Right, I've just cut some steel. These, this is to make the runner, the track for the bottom. So I'll basically weld, stitch that on there. They'll go on the door and then sit in there. So we'll put uh, 
couple of runners under the door there. They'll sit in there and along that. And I've just made it quite a bit of a length. And you can just saw it off if we need to on the boat. So I'm just going to go and stitch that onto the... Right, we've done that then. We've made this track. Oh, it's just stitched on. A few stitches each side. That's all it needs. So that will sit on the framework below the door. The runners go on there. So that's it. That's the bottom track done. What I've got to do is on the top, we'll have to do it on the boat, is make uh, sort of two rails that will sandwich that and uh, hold it hold it between them. But we'll, we'll have to do that on the boat. So we'll get up to the boat now and uh, sort of dinner time Saturday. So we'll go and get this up there, get all the gear up there. And then over like next couple of days we'll get it finished, maybe done by tomorrow, I don't know. But it takes as long as it takes, doesn't it? Alright, see you up there. <laughs> right, hey up. Finally got here, couldn't pass chip shop, it was open. Fish special. Right, let's get this door in. So we'll make a frame on bottom, put that track on it, wheels on that, and then uh, we're trimming the top of that off and uh, make a frame up there that it traps in. So we've got some mangle iron and got plenty of timber and what have you, and box section. So we're built to the summit. We'll have a nice working door then, and then I'll chop a lock in it. But uh, they haven't got the correct one in the hardware place, so I'll have to be another day. But at least if we get a door on that's blocked off, then it can all I can then build other wall there and work in here. So come on, let's crack on. Right. So we've got us height now, marked on the pencil line, the height we need. I'm going to get the rollers on there and then we can measure that to the track and the frame height will work out from that. So that's the next job anyway. So we've got everything on here, we're going to get that done next. So I'll get some timber and what have you and we'll get on with it. Right, so I'll get the wheels on. There's not much room in here, you can't really see what's going on, I've just got to leave you there. So, we'll get these on. No, oh, that's the wheels. That's the wheels and that's the track. So, we'll run on there. 
should fly along. We've got the height now, yeah? That's the bottom of the timber. And I think the best way I can do this now to support that is to actually weld angle irons on there. Right, just coming out and they'll support it to all the way across the timber. Because I want to leave this bottom clear so I can get this board back out. Um, I said because I can put ballast in there to trim boat if it has to go that way or that way. So I want to have access to that. So if I put brackets there, we'll be able to get them boards out easy. So I think that's what I'm going to do. They're welded on, so all I've got to do, let it cool down a bit, give them a chip off, give them a fettle and we'll slop some paint on it and then we can have timber on. Right, got them done. Give 20 minutes, half an hour, whatever, to dry up. We'll folks lovely day out there birds are singing wind's gone and rain's gone we might get a bit later I think <laughs> it's forecast anyway let's carry on with this boat get that door done up there we'll get the wall up I've got some board we'll get a board up and uh, we'll get it blanked off so We'll crack on with that then. Right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this track up so it slopes to that side so the door will always uh, go closed.
I'm going to have stuff running through here, pipes and what have you, so I need to leave this open. So we'll board it onto there. Or shall I put it up to there? We'll just board it here and then uh, I've got access there and that can be f f closed in later if at all because I'm going to have cupboards here so we'll just carry on doing this side, ignore that now because that'll be uh, to a later date once all the services are in we can uh, uh, block that off then so right Come on, cup of tea. Right, the next thing is, I've got to build this out here, but I'm not sure as I can. I'll have a look what we've got left, and um, if I can cut it down, so, and then that'll be out there, another one on, oh, pardon me, and that'll be done. Uh, we'll want some timbers across there. Got to be a step made, so you stand up there, then up again into the bowl. So we'll have a look what we've got. I can hardly stand the heat, soaking underneath the sheet, burning like a flame within, blisters all over my skin. Always a step behind, just like I'm going. Well, that's it. Once the lock put in, in, it'll have a lock in this area, and I've left screwing this lock together. I've left that area for your screws. So I need to mark that on the door. And the sliding door lock will go in here with a Euro lock on it. So now, I've got to trim it all up, but I can't do it today. I can't move with board and what have you, and I need a hand to pick the boards up and what have you. So that's it, but happy with that. I know it's took a bit of space up here, you know, about that much, but I'm not bothered. I just want to slide in down instead of the door that you've got to open into a room and it's a bed or whatever, you know, it's a cupboard and stuff like that. It's in a pocket hole, they can't get it away, can they? So I'll trim all this lot up and so, uh, put nice timbers down the sides and what have you. So it'll be a Bobby Dazzler. So anyway, that's it for for this one. So can't do the rest of it on my own. Need a lift with boards and that. So anyway, so glad you watched that and uh, thanks everybody for liking and subscribing, etc. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Help the channel along. Uh, lots to do on here yet. Oh, well, started this and get this bedroom finished, or bought, painted and boarded and finished like that, and then work through the bathroom. And that's going to be a a wet room. The bathroom. It's having a shower in it, but it's going to be a wet room. So we're going to put a four-minute floor and tank it all. So. I don't want to be messing around with shower trays and what have you. So just have it as one area. Alright then, I'm going to our...